Info tents are the only tents in the market with internal windows. Internal windows have a number of benefits over external windows. Firstly, they can be open from inside your tent, which means that when you wake up in the morning, you can adjust the airflow inside your tent without running outside. Also, they can be adjusted halfway up, halfway down, so you can have a partial vent to the top while still keeping some privacy. And finally, if, it, if it's raining during the day and you're inside your tent, you can quickly zip the windows closed. Now they're fully seam sealed all the way around. When you unzip the window, they simply roll up on one side. The mesh that we use is the highest quality mesh that we can find, it's called B1 mesh, so it's super fine, no insects can fly in and out of it. Um, it's UV treated as well, so it won't fade in the sun. We use a super heavy duty polyethylene floor on our airflow tents, um, it's 100% PE and it's also 160 gram, which is uh, one of the heaviest floors in the market. We have a unique feature on our airflow tents where we have a tub floor design so there's no seams or, um, or edging sewing lines on the floor but then comes up and is sewn into the fly material on the side. We've got a double stitching design which means it can be fully seam sealed and it's super durable. It also means that the fly can be sewn onto the floor so it creates one single skin all the way around. The peg loops are sewn through both the fly material or fly fin and also underneath on the floor and then on the inside of the peg points, we have all welding throughout our whole floor, so there's no, no seams which will come up. It could be either worn or a chance for water to come through. A great feature with airflow airflow tents is the layout option inside the tents. Now, the tents come with individual privacy pods, which mean that the bedrooms can be added or removed depending on what layout you want for your tent. For example, this jet stream comes with two privacy pods, which you can see over this side, and these can be clipped in and out. So under this layout you have one bedroom and a whole large living area where you can have two bedrooms with one living area with a whole thing open plan and you can sleep in either way. The privacy pods are made from polyester all the way around and they have a durable nylon floor on the bottom and they clip in through a series of buckles on the top and little elastic um, webbing loops through the side. Five minutes to clip in. Now, the, on the outside of the privacy pod, we have um, mesh pockets for storage all the way down. At the bottom you'll see here that the pod actually pegs through into the ground. The reason we've done this is because this is the most durable way we can do it. If by chance anyone trips over this floor, there's no risk of them pulling that peg loop out from the bottom of the floor and damaging the tent. So, the webbing tensions at the top, that makes it nice and tight. It's got ventilation up here so that we don't get any condensation inside the pod. And further inside here you can see a webbing loop. This is attached to a webbing loop which goes through to the tent. And this is where you can hang a lantern or any other form of lighting which you're going to have. Obviously you don't want to have gas lighting inside your tent, but any battery lighting. On the inside here you can see we have Velcro loops which are attached all the way down here through down to this point here and this is for a power cord. So if you're camping at a powered campsite you can run the power cord directly from outside the tent through up so there's no chance of anyone tripping over the cords when they come in and out of the tent. On the inside you'll see that the pod also has ladders, um, storage ladders all the way down either side. So this is a great area so you can store phones and all those little things which have a knack of losing themselves when you're camping. We have an internal window on either side and this gives you access to the outside window. So you can adjust your ventilation or the privacy or light inside your tent. The windows can be folded down into the pocket underneath. Also have reflective um, cords on them so you can see them at night when you're shining those porch. The rear of the tent we have what we call our weatherproof window. This is a window that can be opened out when it's raining um, because it's on a vertical wall. It's designed to be close to your bed. So can open up in the morning and it has two layers so it has a, a first layer which is polyester which gives you some privacy and a little bit extra warmth but the inside layer is mesh which is a fine mesh to stop any bugs or anything like that through and that gives you access to the outside window and that can 
so you can adjust your ventilation throughout the day. So those are kind of your three options. They can be rolled up, buckle and pin on the inside. So you'll notice that in this jet stream tent, the end of the bedroom is really low. Uh, this is designed for um, stability of the tent. So we want to make sure that outsides of the tent are nice and low and don't hit into the wind too much because if we have two higher walls on the sides then the, the tent tends to move around a lot. Um, our intention is that it's wide enough for a uh, queen airbed so you can get the queen airbed there sideways or lengthways in this tent and as I said you can open that window from your bed so you're not going to be standing up in that point either. But there's full head height at the front of the um, privacy pod so plenty of room to get changed and as I mentioned it has a full door zip and door pocket. And close like that. And it just tucks neatly into a little mesh pocket down the base down here. So, go. so it really makes these tents nice and versatile. It means that if you have um, a your for family and you're wanting to take away the kids, you can take away two bedrooms. If just two of you going away, you can just take away one bedroom and have this whole area as your kind of living um, area at the front. Many of our airflow tents have a vertical main entry exit in another tent. This allows a lot more, gives you a lot more headroom and internal volume inside the tent and it also stops rain, uh, wind driven rain coming in through the side. And the main door itself is a 360 door, and that means it's got a three, 360 degree zip, which goes all the way around. And it consists of two layers. The first layer is this polyester layer. It's fully waterproof and fully seam sealed. So this is the one that keeps you dry. And it can be unzipped. Tucked into the pocket on the side. That leaves a mesh layer. The mesh layer which is B1 mesh all the way through and this stops bugs and insects coming inside your tent. It still allows a lot of airflow flowing inside your tent and will stop um, heavy winds as well so it's a nice windbreak. Um, that can also be unzipped as well. So, like so. That gives you full access in and out of your tent. On the outside of your tent we have another door, which is this door which fold up right outside here. Now this is your main protection for your tent. There's it down the side. And that gives you a wet storage area. So if you've got muddy shoes or say you've got sandy sandy shoes or toys, like you say outside your tent, it gives you an area to clean yourself off in the dry before you get inside your tent. These main zips, once again, are reversed, so they don't get sand or grit inside them. It was the same with this 360 degree door. And makes them more durable, which is really important if you're camping beside the beach. The zip flaps themselves, which cover the zip, have a PE lining, which makes them quite stiff, and there's less chance for the zips to get caught inside that zip flap when they're zipping the door open and closed. Airflow tents have a power cord access, which comes through the front door. It's placed on a panel which isn't, it doesn't have any chance of getting wet or water coming through. Once the cord comes through, it's power cord access. We have Velcro straps which are sewn on the inside of your tent. This means that you can get the power cord up off the ground and it runs through to a central lantern rigging. Now our lantern riggings have an SR buckle, so they're being unclipped and clipped through the handle of the lantern. It means you can put any size lantern and it's nice and strong for sewing through to the pole sleeve at the top. At the end of each of our bedrooms we have a vertical wall. On this vertical wall we have an internal window, which is our weatherproof window. Now, the key benefit of this window is that it can be open and closed when it's raining. The reason being that this fin that comes over the top protects it from any rain falling down. This makes our airflow tents one of the only tents in the market that can have windows open when they're raining. Normally you're completely closed up. Outside of each of the bedrooms on many of our airflow tents, we have these lower vents. These lower vents allow cool air to come in during the night. This is really important with our with dome tents in general because we don't want any condensation building up. So we want that airflow flying around. Now if it does get cool during the night, there's a couple of options. One option is to take that out and peg straight through this orange loop, like so. And that blocks the majority of the draft coming through and keeps it a little bit warmer. 
but during windy conditions we suggest that they are out because not only do they allow airflow to flow through the tent but they also give this whole panel a lot of extra strength along the sides so it adds a little bit of stability to the tent. We use tough wrap fiberglass poles on all of our airflow dome tents. These tough wrap fiberglass poles are made from a fiberglass inner pole with a PE wrap that goes around the outside and that's this black coating that you can see here. We do this for a number of reasons. Firstly, these poles are incredibly strong for fiberglass poles while still keeping a really nice flex to them without the tent to move. Secondly, the wrap covers over the edge of the spheral and that makes it a lot easier to thread through these pole sleeves when you're putting the tent up, less likely to catch. And thirdly, and possibly most importantly, is that in the event of the pole snapping, if it gets under a lot of tension or really, really heavy winds, the plastic wrap will cover over any sharp shards of fiberglass that can come out of these poles here. And that means that if the, if the tent happens to go over, we're really less likely to have the pole going through the fly, and so you'll just be replacing a pole section rather than a pole, pole fly. Now, at the top, or at the end of these pole sleeves here, you can see a colour coating, this one's green. And this matches the appropriate colour coating at the bottom of the poles, which is a green tape that's wrapped around the bottom here. So after you've connected your poles together, it's really easy to find out which pole sleeve that pole's going to go through. One of the key features of airflow tents is our airflow roof. This is a grey panel that sits at the top of all our airflow tents. It's made from exactly the same fabric as our green fabric, so 4000ml PU coated polyester. 150 denier. And what this panel does is this panel protects the top of the roof um, which has very large vents all the way across the ceiling. These large vents let out hot air during the middle of the day and keep your tent much cooler. In fact, airflow tents are the coolest tents, coolest dome tents in the New Zealand market. You can see that I'm going to take off the roof vent cover. You can see these large vents which run all the way through the ceiling sides. Now these are B1 mesh, so they're really small fine mesh which won't let any insects through, all UV, all UV, UV coated. And on the side of these vents we have these weatherproof panels. Now these weather panels will lift up when we get um, wind, so they'll stop any wind driven rain or anything like that coming inside your tent. It also will pick up any drafts into the hood inside of the vent cover so you don't get too windy or drafty in your tent. And as we'll show you in the next section, this whole roof can be taken off as well and rolled up. 